All right, let's move on next to creating pages within a lesson. Now that you've created your lesson, this is the next step. And as I mentioned in the first video, uh, there are a couple different types of pages that you can create. One of those is a content page. Uh, and the other of those is a question page. These other links we'll get to later on. Um, one of those you're hardly ever gonna use. But let's focus on a content page. Um, content pages, tend to be things that most lessons start off with because that's where you give students information that they're gonna need in order to answer the questions and to make their way through um, the lesson later on. So we'll add a content page. And as with all things that you add to Moodle, we need, need to give it a title. So let's call this content page, the introduction. And let's begin by just introducing our lesson. We'll say, welcome to our lesson. On, and then we'll leave the topic blank for now. Uh, we can add um, things in later on. Um, but the nice thing about a content page is there's no minimum and no maximum amount of content that you can put on here. And as I mentioned before, you can add uh, multimedia, you can add videos, images, um, audio, um, and you can add some text. And the nice thing about content pages is it allows you to take things that you may have used in bulk, for instance, a long article um, or maybe even a PowerPoint presentation and break it down into smaller chunks that, um, that allows students to, to more easily digest some of the material and to stay focused on one particular aspect of the concept at a time. So I'll keep this nice and short um, and I'll say, please, um, please click the button move on. And so we'll scroll down here and you'll notice that um, as I chose in uh, the, one of the early videos here on how to set up a, a lesson, um, I chose to have eight different choices and that gives me eight different buttons that I can use um, to give students a place to go. And so um, let's say that after they read this page, I want them to just go on to the next page. So I'm going to put next here. Um, and I'll leave these checkboxes alone for now. Um, I, this is what my button is gonna say. It's gonna say next. And what's important here is the jump. The jump is where students who click on the button that says next are gonna go. Now, if I left it like it is, they would click on the button that says next and they would stay here because it says this page. So what I wanna do to start off is maybe choose next page. So when they click on next, they'll go to whatever page I've put in um, in the order next. Now notice I have the option of adding several more buttons and later on I might have buttons that say back and next so that if students want to go back to a previous page they can do that. But for now this is my first page so they're just going to move on to the next page. I'll click here and save the page. 